two in the morning, and the autopilot is really going. I can't even see my honey. I'm doing this the old fashioned way. Steering by compass. Oh, Lordy. It's not detrimental, it's just frustrating and exhausting. Really frustrating at two in the morning. What are you working on? Uh, just plotting out the weather, seeing if we're going to stay ahead of the, of the cold front. Talking like storm force winds in the leading edge, so it's starting, we're really trying to beat it. And it's kind of falling apart. We probably have some stiff stuff, and they're talking like three meter waves. That'd be like nine feet, but I think it can be that bad. And we're really just kind of at this, just kind of staying ahead of it. But yeah, cool. So looking good. We need to keep moving though. Trying to find the inner workings of the old autopilot. You got it. <laughs> Chances if they land you might remember my name Still standing after all the rest have faded away I'll go the distance in the end You'll be looking at me Yeah, I'll be Yeah, I'll be The last man standing I'll be the only one who's holding How deep are we? Six, six, 16,000 feet. Yeah, don't lose the gaff. I mean, we don't, we're not going to be able to pull the thing up. So is that a fish right there? Two fish. See him just chilling there? Yeah, it's like to get out of the sun. What? Oh, I could have got him! It is clay. You think that's really, it can't go down to the bottom. That's got to be drifting, right? It felt like clay. I saw when you hit it, it like, it's definitely foam. Foam? Chunk, chunks of foam. It's anchored. They got six miles of rope. I am at a freaking loss, though. All right, you can get back on our course here. Yeah. Right, just slow down. Wear him out. Patient. <laughs> He's probably been hiding behind that thing for like ages. Missy, can I? Yeah. You work here a second. Let's just put a headset away. What do you want this on video? Take your time. Wear him out. Is it? <gasps> oh, yep, it's a bullhead, right? Hang on, just keep swimming them around. Wait for the right shot. Let's see, Missy, will you give me a winch handle? You go keep it there. Get him. Scout. Get a knife. Winch handle. Beautiful. Back over in the sludge pile. Uh. The drift anchor, dinghy techniques, walking, waiting, hand tools. Modifying your Look vessel, up. processing your catch. Step into the world outside. The future never looks so bright. Can't you hear the corners? Make that cut, Eshel. <laughs> Soup pots. What's the difference, huh? What's, um, steak? Cutting fish into steaks wastes little or nothing. Dreaming of tomorrow, soaking up the sun. We can sit and talk about
So the truth is we made a little bit too much easting trying to avoid this cold front that's coming through. Um, we didn't go south and now we're pounding into a south swell. It's a little brutal, but we'll make it. So I'm just gonna try to take a nap. <laughs> All the boys <coughs> trying to figure out <laughs> the three autopilots we've got going on now. Holy cow. Okay. into the wind. It's pretty big seas. I was just out all day, all night. Boys, phenomenal. Oh, you go downstairs and it feels like the boat is like, tearing herself apart. You'd like be floating on the bed. We were dipping into waves so hard. I kept waking up in like sheer states of panic that we were completely flipped over. It was absolutely nuts. And then, there were random squalls. Now everything is really sticky and it's so hot down there. Sticky, salty, humid hot because we can't open any windows. Seriously, it's two guys couldn't have done it without. Obviously, I couldn't do it without Kyle, but just the two of us here would have been damn near impossible. So now the boys are down listening to the weather. I'm pretty sure the man's gonna say it's windy and wavy. That's my guess. I'm gonna come out of this with like a weird ab. Like a weird side ab. It's supposed to go till about noon. And then we hit the trades. And then there's nothing but mermaids and coconut drinks with little umbrellas in them. That's it. That's all it's gonna be. Whoa! <laughs> it is still so ridiculously beautiful though. That's the crazy thing to me. Like. Just staring at the water is just absolutely gorgeous. Even though it's trying to rip my house apart.